8,760. Is this a number that means anything to you? I would imagine it's the height that we've climbed from the lake. <laughs> no, it's not. 8,760 is the amount of available hours in a year that your machine tool can run. And we've come to the home of Aroa, which is in Switzerland, as you can see with the Alps. And it's beautiful here. We're going to be speaking to all the guys from Aroa and find out how they can unlock the maximum potential of your machine tool. Mark, you just said the home of automation. What do you mean by this? Well, I've been in the industry a long time, as you know, and when you see a brand, which I think is one of the leading brands, leading automation, work holding, tooling solutions, Aroa are always there. Well, 1971, you were born. 1971, Aroa started. So that's a few years old, but they've grown so much as a company from two people to 560, 11 subsidiaries, 22 agents, a very successful company. And also one thing I'd like to demonstrate is that these guys did form in 1971. They have fared much better than I have, but <laughs> they started in the EDM section with two people. Right, let's go back now and think about the relevance of 8,760 hours. realistic we're always going to have an element of downtime on the machines but we're here to find out how to maximize the current machines that we have using the Aroa products and when you look at uh, the Aroa products it's very easy to see a product but I think this graphic is absolutely fantastic because when you're looking at trying to maximize your machine tool by buying a concept or the full package from Aroa, how many hours you can get out of your existing machine tool. It's, it's quite interesting and it's, in, it's showing you by adding each one how you in, can increase that production time. But if I've got a machine, do would I just automatically think, well, I've, I'm using that machine to its best of its ability and then I need I could easily buy another one. Is that right? Well, it, it's not easy. Is it? it was skill shortages, for instance. Do you buy your next machine tool and find your next a machinist? Very difficult but also from the point of view, if you actually integrate uh, ROA, you don't have to have that capital outlay as much as a machine tool. I think that's more cost effective. Always maximising the current machine that you have. Right, next up, there's another graphic, and this graphic is going to show a ROA's flexible manufacturing concept. Explain this. Integration, that's what this is about, is basically taking the whole system from start to finish and I think this blue line actually shows you exactly the path of that and, and that is the full system that Aroa works so well and why they're probably one of the best in the world. And we're going to find out more about that throughout this video but first I want to meet Patrick who is the head of sales here. Patrick, you've been with the company almost 20 years which is incredible. How's that been? Where did you begin? Yeah, I started here in the company in the year 2000 as a technical sales and yeah, I had quite an interesting time and always a new challenge. Yeah, yeah but very successful, I can see that. Now, talk us through the products that Aroa bring to market. Yeah, uh, Aroa, we provide uh, system solutions for increasing the efficiency on machining tools. So what does that mean? We could uh, simply say it's an automation company, but in fact it's actually much more than that because we rather uh, provide an entire concept for increasing the efficiency on the machining tools. And this concept we will later hear more about, I guess, is consisting on four steps. Talk us through the products then that you bring to market. Yeah, the four steps are consisting on, first of all, uh, the part what we call the standardization. That's all about uh, clamping systems, quick action clamping systems with a very high precision, uh, supplying an interface between the machine table and the work pieces. Then secondly, it's all about what we call the organization, is preparation and setting up of parts outside the machine, of course, to save uh, valuable uh, machining time on the machine itself. Then the third uh, part is probably the most uh, understandable part which is the robotics all about uh, loading and unloading uh, parts and uh, last but not least very important these days the whole software, the, the pro process control systems 
uh, which lead the whole process from the order income to the finished part. Now let's talk about the automation side of things because in the UK we kind of perceive automation, robotics, pick and place, but you're very different, aren't you? Where, do you, where does automation and AROA sit together? Yeah, AROA started with the automation always on machining tools. So we're really focusing on loading of machining tools and this not for high serial production, but rather for low volume and high mix production. That means originally we're coming from the tool and die business and we are used to uh, automate parts actually down to batch size one. Right, this is quite interesting and that's what this video is all about. It's not all about um, high volumes, but it's about high, more variety than anything else. Let's head over to Mark, who's with Ian, and he's going to speak about the first concept, which is standardisation. Ian, before we talk about the first stage in the concept, tell us a little bit about REM Systems and how long you've been working with AROA. REM Systems has been uh, the UK distributor for AROA for over 35 years now and uh, you know, predominantly the backbone of the, uh, the business has always been around the work holding and the zero point solutions. But um, over the last five or six years that the market has changed, uh, customers are looking for more flexible uh, solutions in work holding, looking at automation and trying to increase the spin blows of machines in the marketplace. And when you look at the, the typical UK market, what's been more successful out of the portfolio of the Aurora products? Um, the, the best selling robot is the Robot Compact 80. That's a very good seller. Um, that's the best seller in the UK. And then we've done a number of linear lines within the UK market over the last four or five years. And we actually installed uh, one of the largest ones, the 30 metre linear line in uh, Swindon, uh, just over two and a half years ago. And when you look at the future, Ian, do you see that that uh, is, is, is a more of the concept of actually selling solutions for our own, not just talking about the standardisation? I think that uh, in, in the years to come, most definitely, there's a great demand and interest into the automation. And it's really developing uh, with the customer, the understanding, taking them through those, through those four steps, the stages that gets the final goal is automation. So some businesses will go straight to automation, some businesses will go take those four steps on the route to finally automating one or a quantity of machines within their business. So when you talk about the concept, Ian, what does FMC stand for? Flexible Manufacturing Concept, it stands for. And when you look at the first part of that, which is standardisation, what does that actually involve or what does that actually show as a product? Well, that's work holding and the zero point solutions that Aurora produce. Uh, and that gives, um, that gives a good repeatability of two microns. Um, and then, as you can see here, you know, this is one of our best selling uh, chucks, which is a UPC chuck. Um, and as you can see from this racking in this automation cell, um, this chuck will be able to take all this range of different size pallets. So you've got uh, 148 pallets, 320 by 320, down to 50 millimeter size pallets. So the standardization really starts with that chuck then? Yes, that's the first step. You uh, work out uh, with your customer is what their kind of idea of what their workload and part sizes they're going to be using on a machine tool. And from that step is, you know, you work out what the chuck system is required. So really, uh, as, a, as an engineer with a machine tool shop, let's say, I've got one machine and effectively you could be producing a number of different sized products based on the standardisation. Correct. Ian, what a great example of different pallet sizes and different work pieces that you've actually got here. And the repeatability of two microns is fantastic. Yeah, and that can be carried across any, throughout anybody's business. Now, over to Lindsay, who's talking to Patrick about the second stage, which is organisation in front of the CMM from Aroa. Thanks, Mark. Now, on to the second process, which is organisation, something I'm personally not very good at. So, why are we standing in front of the CMM here? Yeah, measuring is one of the most important uh, processes in the organization part of the concept. With the help of these measuring machines, in combination with the chuck systems, we are able to preset and to prepare the parts outside the machine. And on the other hand, of course, also the quality checking process is very important 
especially in a, in a manufacturing uh, environment. Yeah, it certainly is. Now we're standing in front of a CMM. Maybe in the UK we don't see many Aroa CMM systems. Talk us through why this is such um, a quality system. Yeah, this is probably right. So most of the Aroa uh, CMMs are integrated in our automation solutions or at least integrated in our FMC concept. So we are not very well known maybe as a, as a, a CMM uh, supplier. But in fact, we are standing here in front of a very high quality machine because we have a little bit different uh, uh, requirements on these machines. Whereas uh, most of the uh, quality checking machines are standing in a uh, measuring environment in a separate room, uh, our machines are most often in the shop floors, integrated next to machines and next to very uh, rough environment, let's say. Different temperatures as well. Exactly, yeah. we, need a, we need a very stable machine from a mechanical point of view first of all and also with regard to the temperature stability. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Patrick. Now, let's head over to a slightly different facility. It's probably a couple of hundred yards away from us where Mark is talking automation. Yes, Lindsay, automation certainly been the buzzword over the last few years in the market. Ian, tell me how the automation makes up the third part of the concept here at Aroa. So, Aroa offers a complete range of automation solutions to meet everybody's requirements now. So, we can go from a very small pallet with a few kilos on it to anything up to 4.4 tonnes with a very bespoke pallet to meet their customers' requirements. So you've said, and I've seen in the field, that the Compact 80 is one of the best-selling products in the UK, but also worldwide for Aurora. Why is that? Um, it's a small footprint, two meter cubed. It can load one or two machines. You can have a third magazine to give it extra capacity. It can quite easily manage anything up to around 55 to 60 pallets of 148 with an average part height. Do you think, Ian, that uh, the reason that Row are, are very flexible and been very, very successful is because the type of products that you actually got, like the, uh, the Easy 80, for instance, it can be adapted to machines that are already installed and give a, a better footprint? Yeah, exactly. So we can install to new machines or to existing machines out in the field. We can connect to all the major manufacturers, control systems. So there's quite an easy installation process to meet the customer's requirements. How about if uh, a customer doesn't have any air actually at the system, can you actually integrate with that? Yeah, so we're able to offer air dock systems to open and close the chucks. Interestingly enough, that takes in the final part of the process, integration. Now, Lindsay's going to find out more with Patrick. Thanks, Mark. So integration for me, almost to integrate something, is pulling everything together. Describe what the final part of the concept is. Yeah, the integration is actually the automation of the process with its corresponding data. Our JMS job management system, JMS 4.0 as we call it, uh, covers the whole process from importing data from an ERP or MES system actually uh, to the actual machining process and to the post calculation and the evaluation of the orders. So this is industry 4.0 really, isn't it? Yes, exactly, yeah. Uh, JMS 4.0 takes an important place in the industry 4.0 overall concept and the functionalities of JMS 4.0 are an important part within a smart factory, yeah. Is this something that is unique to Aroa? Does, do a lot of people provide this kind of software, this whole system, or is it just yourself? I would say so, yeah, we, we concentrate a lot of uh, uh, developing of software and the interesting thing on the JMS 4.0 is that it's completely built modularly. That means we have a lot of a wide range of different software modules which allows easily to link different machine tools with different controls and also different machine technologies. So you're telling me you're getting all of this data together, but what are you doing with this data? What does it actually mean? Yeah, in this, in this overall manufacturing process, we have a lot of different data, beginning from the order data, which comes actually from the customer. So we have to produce NC programs, or customers produce the NC programs. Uh, JMS 4.0 just makes sure that the right data is at the right place on the right point of time. And uh, this goes further to the manufacturing process where we have a lot of different tools what we need and 
that's all controlled by JMS 4.0 actually. Uh, and making the whole process seamless. Now my final question to you is, why choose Aroa? Yeah, so first of all, we are an international company, so we have worldwide presence and can uh, support our customers all over the world. Then we now today learned about these four steps. I think that's unique, that we really can support and, and help our customers to get everything from one single source and everything uh, controlled by the four-step concept. But you're neutral, aren't you? Yes, that's, that's another uh, good advantage, of course. We are uh, able to connect to a lot of different machines, machine brands, machine control types, etc. And the whole system from, uh, from the uh, standardization up to the integration is built up completely modular. That means we can really uh, configure the solutions according to the needs of the customers and their problems. Thank you so much for your time, Patrick. Thank you very much. Thank you. We hope today has educated you on your automation needs and we also hope that you're going to consider Aroa as a brand going forward. Well, we always learn on Swarf and Chips. Aroa, what a portfolio of products that you get in the automation system. Now, one thing you need to look at is the repeatability. To have two micron repeatability for your customers' need is fantastic. Yeah, and that helps with traceability going forward? It does, and I think when you look at the whole integration of what they offer, I don't think there's many companies in the world that can actually beat Aroa. So how do we get in contact with Aroa? Well, they'll always welcome you here in Switzerland, like they have us, which has been fantastic, but also you can contact REM Systems, and they have many products out in the field, and they can show the consistency and how they're saving money for their customers. Yeah, and that's in the UK. Now, that 8,760 hours is a utopia, but we just could quite almost reach it. What do you think? I think it's achievable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. As always, we love to hear your comments. Put them in, in the comments box below and don't forget to like and follow the channel. And what do we always say? I don't know it, Inswee. I don't know. <laughs> Keep those swindle turning. <laughs>